I hate to break it to you, but the way you think about traveling is actually all wrong. There's this idea that traveling is resorts, fancy food, nice clothes, and expensive. But I've spent less money in the four months I've been traveling the world than I did in one month living in Los Angeles. I've been to Holland, France, Italy, Israel, Malta, Germany, and Ecuador, and have spent less than $950. What? This is true, and I've narrowed it down to a science that I will share with you. You have to buy one-way tickets. I started traveling with a one-way flight. I went from Washington, D.C. to Amsterdam, and it was only $136. And then my one-way from Italy to Malta was $23. And lastly, from Malta to Germany, $77. And I always make sure I use flight comparison apps like Skyscanner and Google Flights because that way you will always find the cheapest one. In the four months I've been traveling, I haven't even spent $300 on plane tickets. Live with strangers. The main reason I've spent so little within four months is because I've essentially had no housing expenses. I don't care about living in fancy resorts. All I need is a roof over my head and I'm happy. So I used couch surfing apps and Instagram to find people who will let me live at their place for free. And here's another quick hack. If you have a camera, you can do this. If I can't find someone to let me stay at their place for free, I'll email a hostel or a hotel and I'll say, hey, I'll take some pictures and videos of your establishment if you let me stay there for free. That's how I lived in Italy and Amsterdam. Obviously, living with strangers is more risky, but you're an adult. Just be smart and use apps that have verified hosts. Whenever you don't have to buy a plane ticket, buy a bus ticket. At any given chance, I will always buy a bus ticket instead of a flight. When I went from Holland to Paris and from Paris to Italy, I only rode buses because each ticket uh, was less than $30. So buy bus tickets. It will ultimately take you a lot longer to get to your destination, but in the long run, you'll be saving so much money. Go to the grocery store. Whether you're couch surfing or staying in a hostel, there will always be a kitchen. So it helps if you go buy some cat food. Okay, so maybe don't buy cat food, but actually the majority of the money I've spent since I started traveling has been on food. And so this is the expense that'll pile up the fastest. Create your own experiences. So many people and companies will try and get you stuck in a tourist trap. But no, no, you and us and we are better than that. You have to create experiences for yourself. It's honestly a lot more fun to go explore country by yourself or with a group of friends that you meet at a hostel instead of paying for a tour. At the end of the day, traveling is a lot more accessible than you thought. I only buy cheap plane tickets. I take the bus as much as I can. I live with strangers. I don't eat out and I make my own experiences. So by traveling the world, I'm actually saving money. So go be adventurous. The world is waiting for you and it's a lot more affordable than you thought. This video was sponsored by Squarespace. From websites to online stores to tools and analytics, anything else to add, Will? Yeah, if you would have done the ad right, you would have told them that Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. You think you can do this ad better than I can? I know I can. Well, unlike him, Squarespace is beautiful and has beautiful designer templates. Well, unlike him, Squarespace is incredibly helpful and has a 24-hour award-winning customer service. Ha! Got him! And Squarespace got you. Squarespace empowers people with creative ideas to succeed. Oh. What's, what's, what?